Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has lauded the outstanding success and the unparalleled response of the Bahraini people with the FINA Care campaign to support the national efforts to combat the novel coronavirus. Since the launch of the campaign by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Board of Trustees Chairman of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King said, the Bahrainis have showcased the best examples of loyalty, patriotism and cohesion and contributed to the campaign aimed at supporting the national efforts to fight the pandemic. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation for the valuable contributions made by the citizens, merchants, businessmen, financial and banking institutions, companies, associations, residents and individuals to the national campaign, which reflects noble values of goodness, giving, solidarity and cohesion for which Bahrain has always been known, stressing that Bahrainis have a rich record of great stances, solidarity and sacrifices, thanks to which the kingdom has been able to overcome many challenges. His Majesty the King paid tribute to His Highness Sheikh Nasser, valuing highly his humanitarian efforts and launch of the Finakara campaign, noting that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's kind donation to the campaign has motivated everybody to donate for the sake of supporting the national efforts to combat COVID-19. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the noble efforts of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, praising its support for the campaign and hailing its charity and humanitarian initiatives in Bahrain and abroad. His Majesty the King praised the distinguished, dedicated efforts to combat coronavirus in the Kingdom, noting that Bahrain has achieved remarkable success in containing the pandemic. His Majesty King Hamad commended the endeavours of the medical and nursing competencies, as well as all relevant parties, task forces, volunteers and unknown soldiers, for the dedication in performing their duty to protect their families, society and homeland. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to all those working hard in silence at the front line to confront the coronavirus and ensure the safety and security of the Kingdom, as well as the health of the citizens and residents. His Majesty King Hamad stressed that the health situation in Bahrain is and will remain fine, adding that the Kingdom continues to strengthen all preventative and precautionary measures and proactive initiatives that guarantee the health and safety of the citizens and residents expressing confidence in the Kingdom's ability to overcome the current situation through cooperation and awareness of everyone and teamwork at spirit. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah the Almighty to preserve Bahrain and its citizens and residents, as well as to bless patients with speedy recovery, rest the souls of the deceased in eternal peace and protect the Muslims and entire humanity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Chechnyan President Ramzan Akhmadovich Kadyrov. The Chechnyan President congratulated His Majesty the King on the holy month of Ramadan and extended the greetings of the Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Chechnyan people, praying to Al the Almighty to preserve and protect all from the coronavirus pandemic. For his part, His Majesty the King exchanged Ramadan greetings with the Chechnyan leader praying to Allah the Almighty to bestow further progress and prosperity for both countries and their people, in addition to the Arab and Islamic nations, and protect humanity from the COVID-19 outbreak, so that the world lives in security and peace. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's backing of the call issued by the Higher Committee of the Human Fraternity to pray for humanity. The Higher Committee of Human Fraternity had called on people of different religions and races to unite on Thursday, May the 14th, supplicate, fast, do good and pray to Allah the Almighty to lift the novel coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic off humanity. In a statement, the SCIA expressed deep appreciation of the tremendous efforts the world is exerting to confront the pandemic, paying special tribute to medical and nursing staff research and study centres and task force and follow-up committees. The SCIA urged believers to supplicate to Allah the Almighty to lift the pandemic off humanity and to bless the patients with speedy recovery. His Majesty the King's representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF Board of Trustees Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the RHF, for his praise of success of the Fina Kerr campaign has achieved. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the praise of His Majesty the King for launching this national campaign and the noble efforts of the RHF in support of this campaign is a great honour. 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser underscored that His Majesty is a role model when it comes to sacrificing and giving for the sake of the country, and this has been evident historically, including His Majesty's great interest in preserving the health and safety of citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain since the beginning of this pandemic. Sheikh Nasser continued to state that such prayers should only motivate such initiatives and redouble the efforts and the tasks entrusted to us and to continue to work diligently to serve the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Secretary General of the RHF, Dr Mustafa Al Sayed, also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his praise of the success of the Fina Cara campaign. The number of government employees who joined the services of the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, BIPA, has reached over 4,100 employees, which reflects the growing sense of patriotism of Bahraini cadres and the desire to develop and improve their capabilities to be agents in the sustainable development process. This success comes in line with the national vision, which will be adopted by the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, which aims to activate the electronic training transformation mechanism in a more comprehensive way by adopting the feature of distance learning as a pivotal training policy that will be followed, given current situation in the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. The Ministry of Health said that the number of coronavirus COVID-19 cases reached 2,369 today, with 205 new cases and 2,027 recovered from the virus. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions, such as washing one's hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands in close contact. Moreover, covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public spaces when possible.